more news coming out from the scan of the underground area in Giza, in Egypt. The Italian team have been talking to various people and they recently announced that it's not just under the pyramids, but there is a a vast, uh, well, what they refer to as city underneath Giza. And uh, we'll just go to a, a clip from my friend Trevor Grassi, who was talking to to one of the researchers. The Sphinx Causeway. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes yeah. The the fire chef. Yes, and we are finding a lot of things. So they go down, but now I can't say nothing. But uh, uh, in my personal opinion, those are crucial to to some kind of things. And then, uh, because they are connect, everything is connected. He's talking about the many, many shafts on the Giza Plateau. And they go down, some of them very deep, and they are beautifully cut, very precise. And it's part of an interconnected series of passages, chambers, and something that they refer to quite strangely as the mega structure of Amante. We call it like that. The, the things that are below the earth, the, 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 the uh, mega chambers that are below the earth, we call them Amante. Amante. There is also one of the tomographies that you showed under the Khufu pyramid, under the Great Pyramid. So all the news so far has been about what's under the actual pyramids. But the news that's just come out recently is about the rest of the Giza Plateau. And when you look from above, you see endless deep shafts. And this picture here just gives you an idea of how many deep cut vertical shafts there are on the Giza Plateau. So here's where I plan to blow your mind slightly. So for each of these shafts, there are structures underneath the ground, chambers, passages. But that's not all. There's also, in the deep, dark past, there would have been buildings on top of each of these structures, whereas now they're just a terrible hazard the Egyptian authorities have put little fences around these these shafts so you can't get too close, which is can be a bit frustrating because, you know, you really kind of want to have a really good look inside them. But they're dangerous because they're very deep. Most of the time, the Egyptologists don't really talk about these amazing shafts. But there's one that not only do they talk about, but there, it's possible to visit it. It does cost a lot of money, and so generally you have to go on a private tour to get into it, but it's the Osiris shaft. And what's more, the um, researchers, the Italian researchers, have done a scan of the Osiris shaft as well and found more chambers and more passageways. So it is a very good example of what these shafts are all about. SAR analysis shows that the structure pushes down deeper beyond what we already know about it, and it keeps going until it meets a probable empty structure, which is thought to be a room, so it shows up as black in the tomography. And this is just one of hundreds of these shafts most of which have not been fully excavated. For those of you who are not familiar with the Osiris shaft, let's just have a quick chat about what exactly it is. Nothing mythical about it. It's a well-known structure under the Giza Plateau, which is closed off to the general public. It's a three-level underground structure that descends somewhat precariously via a metal ladder to a depth of a approximately 30 metres, that's almost 100 feet. 
It's located between the Sphinx and the second pyramid of Khafre. That's the one with the scan that we've been talking about. Kind of off to one side from the walkway. And so as such, it's not particularly noticeable. You've got to actually have it pointed out to you if you're walking up the walkway. So if you look over from the walkway, you'll see, uh, by leaning over a bit, you'll see a metal door. Um, and when people are going to go in it, you just see a queue of people waiting until the doors open and then they kind of disappear in there. And uh, yeah, they go down into the depths. Once inside, you get to see three levels and some massive stone boxes and an underwater cavern. And if you find this interesting, you should check out the videos on this subject by one of my friends, Any XD. I think his are the best videos. But what does this very brief bit of information from the SAR scan mean in terms of the Osiris shaft? Well, it indicates that the lowest level that we know of of the Osiris shaft isn't the lowest level. In fact, when you look on one of these diagrams, you actually see that there are um, penciled in, let's say, the uh, more shafts that haven't been explored and i'd say that's because that area is is underwater but if the sar scan is uh correct then these go down a lot further and as i mentioned this is just one of hundreds of these shafts going deep down into the giza plateau and for every shaft and structure below ground, there would in the past have been a structure on top. Of course, these are mostly gone today. The structures that remain are the ones that were too difficult to dismantle, which are the, the pyramids. The quote, as above, so below, is particularly relevant in this situation because... The number of structures that would have been on top of the Giza Plateau can relatively easily be calculated by looking at these, these shafts. I know we can't really imagine what those buildings look like, but we do know that the dynastic Egyptians were very good at reusing the things that they found. So even to the extent of quarrying existing buildings and making them into other buildings. So where does this all leave us as we are desperate for more information on this? Well, we can start looking into the ancient myths and legends that the dynastic Egyptians had about this area. Of course, the Egyptologists don't hold much interest in in the myths. You know, they just say, oh, they're just stories. But it would seem that some of these stories have more to them than meets the eye. So, uh, yeah, I think that's a very interesting aspect since a lot of these things are actually turning out to be real. One in particular recently was the lost labyrinth of Hawara, which lo and behold, they found. You can check out the details of that in one of my other videos, but uh, it just seems that the more um, information comes out, the more some of these so-called myths are being proven correct. Or at least that's what I'm expecting will happen once they start to, to actually go down underground more. Not just the Osiris shaft, but down into the other shafts as more information, hopefully, will be revealed.